All right. So we engage low gear. Locking pin. All right. So once engaged, low gear is engaged. Does someone want to grab Warren, it? Warren, can you grab that? You got this pin right here? Yeah. All right. That. You're going to... Pull it out. I just put this guy in. Sometimes I have to pry it out. Okay. So we just be very careful not to damage the uh, the gear teeth. All right. And just it just pops out. And now you have super low gear. I see. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's not going to turn very well with the with the motor not running. But you must disengage this pin to keep it in low gear, or else it just locks. It's just it'll burn yep. up the motor. Yeah. And then to re-engage regular gear, you go ahead pull this. Rotate it, the back gear out of the way. Now this just free spins. You notice the dry belts aren't running. Yep. So what you do is you get this guy, you push it in, and there's actually an alignment. Like a little right indicator. There. And as I move, there, where's the back of this? You'll see this match, matching radius. Oh, okay. You line them both up, you push that guy in, it starts to lock. Now it needs to be lubed up, so I'm just gonna push it in with a screwdriver right now. Yeah, it uh, should think maybe some oil or something. I just gotta pull it apart. There's some schmoo in it. Well, technical turn. I think that's in all the way. No, oh, there it goes. No, it goes in a pretty good way. It needs to be pushed in all the way, or else as you're turning, if you shear that off, you'll stop turning, um, and everything will need to be uh, to be changed. All right. And then make sure this gets put back all the way. Yeah, that uh, needs we need to, to be tighten fixed. This. We need to tighten the uh, set screws on the back of this. But there you go. And the collet thing would be, you've actually removed the chuck. Yeah. And you'd have a collet holder in there. Yeah, it's a 5C collet. Um, the problem then, with this is it, it's a little Yeah, that one's bent, but uh, so it wobbles around. there's like a rod that goes all the way through that the collet is attached to. It's actually a tube. To? It's called the draw tube. Okay. Uh, so what you'll do is there's this knob on the back here. Um, so you'll undo the chuck. It's this cam lock right here. There's three cam pins. Okay. You'll pull the chuck off. Be very careful not to drop it on the waist. Mm -hmm. You'll pull that off, and you'll put a. You'll clean out the inside of the spindle very well, and you'll put a 5C collet into the face of the spindle. You'll thread in the draw tube, and then you'll make sure when you slide your material through, you pull back. It locks the draw bar back, okay. and it'll hold your material in the collet, so then you can turn on it. Nice thing about collets is they run extremely true, so you're your piece of material will repeat every time you chuck and unchuck it, it will run true usually within a thousandth of an inch or less. Um, with a chuck, you can't ever guarantee that because you've got these jaws that move uh, in and out, and as the chuck wears, they yeah, start to slop. They get a little bit of slop, but they don't repeat 100% perfectly. Okay, now what's the uh, teeth on there for like the... That's, that's to engage and disengage the collar closer. So now the collet closer's not running. Oh, so it won't spin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can... Oh, see, so you pull it back, it stops the collet from spinning, and now it allows you to pull yeah. the tool out? And just don't be like the former owner of this and beat the crap out of this thing with a hammer. Uh, uh, people, this is an intricate piece of equipment. Please, don't hit it with hammers. Okay, I think that's about everything, right? Yep. All right, thanks.